Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. Uh, the, the title of this one is a little cumbersome, but it's something to the effect of why you should take a permit class, a good permit class, even if you're not legally required to in your state. Because God bless America, I think we're up to 10, maybe 11 constitutional carry states now. I can't quite remember the number off the top of my head. You can remind me in the comments. Uh, but there's a lot of us now who don't have to get a permit to carry or don't have to take a permit class uh, because we live in a constitutional state. Or there's a lot of us who just have to go and, and check the box off, right? Because we live in a shall issue state and so we got to just tick that box so we can get our permit and have our rights like we should have had to begin with. But I wanted to drive home uh, what a good class is and why it's important for you to take one. Uh, a good class, in my opinion, a good permit class, is one that leaves you informed with what the law, specifically in your state, says. Uh, particularly around da daily carry practices, do you have a duty to inform in your state? Do signs carry the rule of law? Uh, are there laws about where you can carry as far as uh, restaurants serving alcohol? Or are you allowed to drink when you're carrying? Or, and stuff like that. Uh, general transportation laws, you know, does it have to be locked? Does the ammo have to be separate? All those kind of storage laws. So open carry, is that legit or not legit? Which most, for most of us is legit. In a couple places it's not in this country. But uh, those are all the important things. Daily carry practices, right? So as you're going about your day and you see a sign, you think, does that carry the rule of law? Do I need to know that? Does, does that matter or not? Are there certain places I just cannot carry, right? Just, just daily carry stuff. And then the other thing, of course, being the laws around lethal force, right? You need to know the laws around lethal force. If you carry a gun every day and you can't tell me right now what the laws are in lethal force in your state, that's a problem. You need to fix that problem. You either need to do some research or you just need to go take another class just because, but you need to know that. If, if you don't know that, that's like not knowing the four universal safety laws of a gun, right? That's like, yeah, there's some safety, treat guns like they're unloaded or something, Right? I mean, that, that that's scary. Uh, you need to know all four of those by heart. They need to be ingrained in your soul. And just like that, the laws around lethal force need to be ingrained into your soul. If when I say ability, opportunity, jeopardy, that sounds foreign to you and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I think it's time for you to brush up on your legal laws regarding lethal force, specifically the ones that apply in your state. So, uh, that's really, really important. One, because we want to be informed assets in society, right? We don't just want to be people who are out there and uh, carry a gun and are a problem. Uh, one, that doesn't look good from a, from a marketing perspective. But two, much more importantly, um, you're taking a big responsibility. When you strap that gun on every day, and I hope you do, you need to be an informed positive in society and not a potential negative, right? A permit class is not going to cover how to actually use your gun. For that, you have to go take a real shooting class. But I urge you to find a good permit class and be able to uh, learn those things and retain them and then use them and remember them and apply them and remind yourself of them. So what, what makes a good permit class, right? What, what is that? Well, like I said, it teaches those two things, right? The laws around lethal force and the laws around carrying your state. And I think the best way to identify that is to ask questions of the instructor. If the only thing that instructor has ever done is, say, you know, be an NRA instructor or something like that. And hey, I'm sure there's some competent ones out there. I'm, I'm an NRA instructor. Uh, but if that's it, if that's all they've ever pursued, I wouldn't take a permit class with that guy. I, I want to take a permit class with a guy who's gone beyond just, just kind of what the bare minimum is, right? He's gone out and he's taken other training classes. Uh, he's spent time reading books about this stuff. And it, you can ask him, you can email him, you can say, hey, uh, just, you know, just curious, where else have you trained? Um, often, right, someone is, well, I've been a police officer for however many years or a, a military guy for however many years. And again, a lot of great, those guys. But I want someone who's spent the time to learn the stuff about my state laws. So the bare minimum, someone who's gone just beyond uh, the minimum requirements to, to be an instructor, right? If that's all they've ever done, then, then I would say find someone else. Find someone who's really gone out there, taken the classes, put in the time, spent the money, so that they, you feel confident this guy knows what they're talking about because they've spent the time to learn. So that's definitely what I would look for in order to find an instructor that I know is going to teach a competent permit class and get me those two things to know. And then two, I, the second thing I would ask is just, hey, do you spend a lot of time talking about this? What, what does your permit class cover? You can just leave it open-ended and see what they say. 
Uh, but those, again, those are the things that I would look for to find a permit class. And you should take one, even if you're not legally required to, simply because it's going to help you be a better shooter, a better thinker, and a more positive asset in society rather than a potential negative. Do brave deeds and endure.